Hi everyone, welcome back to ESL Drill. In today's video, let's discuss how to transform some sentences into passive voice. I mean, active voice sentences into passive voice. So there are certain things that we need to do before we uh, begin to understand how to transform sentences into passive voice. So first thing is you need to identify what subject is and you need to identify the verb and you need to understand the tense the sentence has and you need to identify the object. We'll also be looking at these two pictures now and then. Now let's uh, proceed and then see how to change uh, a sentence from active voice to passive voice. The first thing that we need to do is identify the subject. Here the subject is she. Subject is also called doer and sometimes it is referred to as agent. Doer, agent, subject, the same. And the next one is we need to identify the verb. She eats. Here eats is the verb. Of course this is verb 1 plus s. We know in simple present tense we have either verb 1 or verb 1 plus s or es form. The next step is identifying the object. Now, how can we identify the object? Let me erase this. How can we identify? Look at this. After reading subject and verb, we need to question the verb using what or whom. What or whom. Now, here, uh, she eats what? Or you can say, what does she eat? The answer we get is, an apple. Don't worry about this word. That is an adverb. So we are worried about the object, a noun that receives the action of this verb. Now this verb is actually transferring its action onto this an apple. So an apple is the object here. So we have got everything ready now. Now let's proceed to change this into passive voice. The first thing we need to do is uh, writing the object as the subject. The object here is an apple. So the object has become the subject, an apple. Now look at this, eats is simple present tense verb, simple present tense and look at the B forms that we are supposed to use, am or is or are. We need to use one of them. An apple is singular, so we say an apple is. An apple is nothing but it. We say it is, so an apple is. And in passive voice, we should always use the third form after B form. So we have written B form is, and we have to write the third form of the verb. Here the verb is eat, second form is ate, and the third form is eaten. So, she eats an apple. Now, an apple is eat changes to eaten. An apple is eaten by, this is the standard preposition that we use, sometimes it changes. Now, next thing is the subject she. This one should be changed into object to case, object form. Look at this, these are all subjects. Now, what is the word that we are looking at? We are looking at she. Now, it changes to her. So, an apple is eaten by her. Of course, you can use the next word there in the sentence. That is daily. An apple is eaten by her daily. Perfect. That is uh, the passive form of the given sentence. Now, let's move to the second one. They are watching a movie right now. Again, they, that is the subject, are watching, this is the verb. What are they watching? When you question what, you get a movie as the object. A movie, subject, sorry, object. So the two words are object. Right now, extra words, don't worry about that. So they are watching a movie right now. Now, the object, a movie, becomes a subject. And look at this one, are watching, this is present continuous tense. 
present continuous tense of B forms are am, is, are, plus being. So, a movie is nothing but it. And we use is with it. We don't say a movie am, a movie are. A movie is, and we need to add extra word being. A movie is being, and we have already discussed that in passive voice, we should always use the third form of the verb. So, being watched is the third form of watch. A movie is being watched by... Now look at this they and look at this table here. Now they changes to them. A movie is being watched by them. And we use the uh, other words right now. A movie is being watched by them right now. Let's move to the next one. He has finished the homework. Again, in this sentence, the subject is he. What has he done? Has finished. This is the verb. Now, what has he finished? Question the verb using what. He has finished what. The answer is the homework. The homework is the sub is the object, sorry. The homework is the object. Now we have got subject, verb and object. Now let's proceed to turn this into passive voice. The object, the homework changes to subject. The homework. Now look at this one here. Has finished. Has finished is actually present perfect tense. And in present perfect tense, the B form we use is been but wait we need to add something here look at this present perfect structure is how or has plus verb 3 so we have to use one of these now based on the subject the subject is singular so we use has the homework has and in perfect tense we use been so the homework has been and in passive voice we should always use the third form of the verb because we have already discussed that we need to use be form and verb 3 and we have already used be form here now you need to use uh, v3 so finished is already in third form now because present perfect tense already has verb 3 so homework has been finished The homework has been finished by, now he changes to him. So, the homework has been finished by him. Perfect. Next, fourth sentence. The dog chased the cat. Here, the subject is the dog. Chased. This is verb, actually verb 2. It means that is Simple past tense. The dog chased what? Or you can say whom in this case. What? The cat. That is the object. Now easy peasy. The cat, the object becomes a subject. The cat, now look at this. This is verb 2. Verb 2, simple past tense. So simple past B forms was, were. Cat is singular, so we say the cat was. And in passive voice, we always use the third form. The third form of chased is chased. So, let's write the same thing there. The cat was chased by the dog. The cat was chased by the dog. That's right. Let's move to the fifth one. We were playing football in the park. Again, we, subject, this were playing, this is the verb. What were we playing? Football. This is the object of the verb, were playing. So, we got everything here, subject, verb and object. Let's change this into passive voice. The object, football, changes to subject now. Football. Now, look at this one here, were playing. This is past continuous tense. And the B forms are was or were plus being. 
Now we need to use was in this case because football is singular. Football was. And we have to use being extra here. Football was being play, played, played. The third form of the verb played by. Now look at this we here. And look at this table here. We changes to us. By us, where? In the park. Football was being played by us in the park. Let's move to the next one. I hope you are able to understand everything I explain. She had cooked dinner when I arrived. She had cooked dinner when I arrived. Now, don't worry about this part. This part cannot be changed into passive voice. So, don't worry about that. Look at this. This is the subject. Had cooked. This is the verb. What had they cooked? The answer is dinner. This is the object. Now, we have got subject, verb, object. So, let's begin with the object, dinner. And in... Past to perfect because this is past to perfect. Had plus V3. Past to perfect tense because it is past to perfect tense. We use had again. Dinner had. And in all perfect tenses we use been. We know that. Dinner had been cooked. You know this is past to perfect tense. All perfect tenses have V3 in active voice. So we don't, we don't need to look for the third form. Dinner had been cooked by, now look at this she here and this one here, she changes to her. So, dinner had been cooked by her and we write the remaining part, when I arrived. No need to change this. So, I hope you have understood this one too. We'll proceed to the seventh one. They will visit their grandparents next week. Now, here... The subject is they will visit. This is the verb. So, whom will they visit? They will visit whom? Their grandparents. They will visit their grandparents next week. These are extra words next week. Don't worry about them. Now, they will visit verb, their grandparents, object. Now, we have got the object. Let's change that into Subject here. Their grandparents. What will come next? Their grandparents. Look at this will here. This is simple future tense. Will plus V1. So we use will again. Their grandparents will. Now in simple future tense we use be directly. There is no other direct uh, other be form. We use be directly. Their grandparents will be. So, visit, visited, visited. The third form is visited by, now look at they here. So, they changes to them. By them. So, what is the next one? By them. Next week. We don't need to change them. That's right. Now, here I have to tell you something. So, whenever we use a model verb, now, like, uh, let me give you the list, model verbs. If you have any model verb plus V1, we need to use the same model verb plus B plus V3. So, what are these model verbs? So, let's do this here. Let me write the list, will, would, shall, Shall, should, can, could, may, might, must. If you have any of these model verb, you are going to write the same model verb only when you have V1 after that. Look at this model verb, B plus V3. Look at this end. Will is the model verb. Visit is V1. So, it changed to will be visited. If you have something like uh, I can do it, we have can model verb, it changes to it can be 
done do did done by me okay that is what we do with model verbs here simple future also has model verb will so we have used this one let's move to the eighth one the last one he will have completed the project by friday so look at this one here will have completed we have v3 as well this is not like the earlier one so anyway we don't use direct be here been because this is present sorry this is future perfect tense we use been in perfect tenses he is the subject will have completed is the verb what will have they completed the project this is the object now we have got the object the project we have will so we write will again have does not change will have and we need to use been be form been the project will have been and this is future perfect tense and every uh, perfect tense like present perfect past perfect future perfect they already have v3 so we don't need to change it so completed the project will have been completed by now look at he and here he changes to him so by him by friday i mean by that particular day that's the deadline if you like this video don't forget to hit like and share this video as much as possible and subscribe to the channel if you are new here thank you for watching if you have any doubt you can leave uh, if you have any doubts you can ask that in the comments thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video